The seventh and final season of the league is now available on DVD. He's a longtime friend of this program, back to the podcast days, and a longtime friend in general. Uh, the director and executive producer of Curb Your Enthusiasm, an executive producer and writer from back in the day on Seinfeld, but most importantly, a man from Warren, Ohio, yeah. wearing his Cleveland pride today. This Jeff Schaefer, good to see you, Lovely sir. to see you. Love to see you. And I have to say, it was the best Father's Day yes. present anyone could ever have. I mean, Father's Day is silly anyway, because really, you're just celebrating the fact that a while back you had unprotected sex. <laughs> that's... That's what this day is immortalizing mm -hmm. and honoring. Mm -hmm. But this one, this one was special. Um, <laughs> this I, this was, it was amazing. I mean, I cried like J.R. Smith. I cried with J.R. Smith. You, did you really shed a tear? It, I did shed a tear. It was so, I mean, I couldn't believe it when they won. I literally opened a bottle of champagne and shook it and just, I was so excited. What? You, well, you guys don't understand. Look, you're a Jets fan. You're used to being covered in glory. <laughs> and, and Chris Law, <laughs> you're, you're a fan of Penn State. Nothing bad has ever happened to that program. Nothing weird Nothing. or untoward. Mm -hmm. So you guys don't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it's like being from Cleveland and, you know, still just getting over the mistake on the lake and all of that stuff. And now, yeah. 52 years. 52, 52 years. years. I, am, I have not, I was not born when they won before. My, I was talking to my parents. My dad got to see another Cleveland championship. Uh, it, it's amazing. And, and I don't think anyone really knows how to celebrate. I mean, the nice thing is, you know, a lot of cities, they'll burn cars. We can actually burn the factories that make those cars. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what's so special about Cleveland. Um, so I, I'm expecting this to be oh, an, an amazing celebration, but it's, it's been, I, 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 none of us, I was calling, all my friends from Cleveland, all my hometown friends, yeah. we called each other last night. No one knew what to say. Is this what it feels like? <laughs> This is... <laughs> what is this strange sensation we yeah. call winning? Now, but last two minutes to go, though. What, how, how many pins and needles were you sitting on on that one? Honestly, Jeff? there were so many... It was such a ragged game. It's like you know, and the threes were coming easy for Golden State, and the no score, the scoring was just struggle for Cleveland the whole way through. And they seemed like they were getting into their sets way too late. I mean, like eight seconds, seven seconds, six seconds. Okay, LeBron's going to do something, which is usually a recipe for a non-successful game. That's how they lost Game Four. Exactly. So uh, when I got to say when and for the series, it was usually how uh, Barnes goes, so go the Warriors. If Barnes is on fire, Warriors are in trouble. Barnes got as cold as that. Viking Seahawk playoff game and and they came back but then but then you know Draymond Green just all I was like this is gonna be his coming out party yeah. we're gonna watch that that's what I kept thinking about we're watching we're watching Mr. Green's coming out party the guy getting his redemption for missing yep. game five was in game seven where he had 22 points at halftime he had 32 points overall and that might have been the trap door they were every, everyone was missing shots after Clay, I think it was Clay who scored the last Warriors points yeah, with four and a half to four go. And a half four to minutes go. and 39 seconds They to didn't go, score Clay again, Thompson. which was truly unbelievable. And, and here's the thing. As being, growing up in, in Cleveland, there's, there are a few laws that the world has. There's gravity, and there is, if you're looking for the outcomes of things, it's just <laughs> bet on what will uh, provide the most heartbreak for the good people of Cleveland and Northeastern Ohio. You can, you can just bet on that usually, and that's just the way it's always been. And... So, <laughs> and so when they won, we knew they were going to win game five. My friends, are, we, they're going to win game five because that sets up one of two things. Losing at home mm -hmm. for game six, which would be very disappointing, or winning game six and setting up cope to creep back in, right? Like just like a damp basement and wanting to, and starting to think about it and think about, oh my God, maybe it's going to happen. And setting up what we realized was going to be generational disappointment. That you can tell your, your son and your grandson, <laughs> I was there and got my soul crushed at that moment. So, and so we just expected that to happen. How's it gonna happen, right? Mm -hmm. How's it gonna happen? Is it gonna be, it's a really close game and then there's a, there's a bad penalty or there's a foul that shouldn't be a foul or, or, or LeBron gets injured. So 10 seconds left. That's right. 10 seconds left. You're waiting for this shoe to drop. You're looking up and you can, you can see the soul of, of God's shoe. <laughs> it's just there, right? You're looking up at it, and you know it's gonna come. So 10 seconds left, he's writhing on the ground. I go, this is how we die. He, his arm, his wrist is broken. Mm -hmm. The foul shots don't go. There, it's, it's, it's three points. Curry makes that. There's an overtime. And what should have been an amazing dunk, that moment mm -hmm. will be the pivot. And, that, and we start to slide back into, into Lake Erie. And, but it didn't. No pivot. He got, he got there was no up. no pivot. He got up. He got up. He made one. Um, you know, I know that the, the uh, uh, we'll see, the, the USGA hasn't yet. Hasn't ever, <laughs> has the USGA. Yet, has that's, not yet made a ruling on, the, on the, whether it's a two, on a two or three, but yes. he got up and he did it. And it was, 
It was so astounding. Then Curry misses. I mean, just literally waves of what's going to happen. It's not happening. It's, the loss isn't happening. The loss isn't happening. It's not we the won. Loss, the <laughs> loss didn't happen. <laughs> the loss didn't happen. And instead of we won, yeah, it's we the did loss not didn't, lose. We did not. <laughs> we did not do that thing that we do. Oh my God! It's, You're it's, scarred. You're a scarred yeah. sports into now. Does this does this heal the wounds? Does this heal the wounds of a Browns fan as well? Deep will this, down. Are you saying, will this mean that sometime in my life the Browns go to and win a Super Bowl? Maybe this is, if you want to talk about pivots, maybe this is the pivot for the entire city's fortunes. The uh, Cleveland Indians right now have a half-game lead. They do have they're a half-game lead. They're eight games over 500 they, right They're now. doing well. Yeah. You're saying that, I'm not sure that's going to happen with the Browns this year. Mm -hmm. That would be asking a lot. <laughs> maybe, maybe this decade? Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see. But by the way, now you're not punished for believing something good could happen. Because you thought something good might happen, you hoped something good might happen, yeah. and something good happened. Yeah. It's an amazing experience. Jeff Schaefer is here. Uh, so we're going to take a break. Grandma Gloria Glassman's going to call in. You're, Fantastic. you're familiar with her work. I'm familiar with much of her work. Her and she and I have been looking for a project to do together for quite some time. Quite some time? Yeah. Maybe it could good. be season nine of Curb. That, we, we should talk. We'll talk about with Gloria. OK. Gloria Glassman's going to be joining. And I want to hit you up on the idea that I have presented to you long ago mm -hmm. for season nine of Curb. Should it exist? It now exists. I want to know. A little update. A little update. You want to see this. how your baby's doing? I want to see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Schaefer is here. We also have in hour number three your phone calls as well as Scott Van Pelt. That's next here on the Rich Eisen Show with Grandma Gloria Glassman. Again, season seven of the league, the final season, the final fantasy, if you will, uh, is out on DVD right now, and the also on uh, on digital uh, digital uh, HD and everything, uh -huh. so you don't have to build a time machine and go find a DVD player. <laughs> you can, you Jeff can also Schaefer, get it on Netflix and everything else. Jeff Schaefer is here to discuss that, as well as his Cleveland Cavaliers finally breaking through. Curb Your Enthusiasm is back as well. I mean, the, it, the comebacks are everywhere. It's fantastic. Season 9, I want to talk about that with you for a moment. But uh, the more Cleveland uh, quelling, if you will. Much, sure. The Nachas that's broken out, the Nachas parade that has broken out in Cleveland. The reason why I'm dropping all the Yiddish is we're about to be joined by Grandma Gloria Glassman. Are you familiar with her latest work? I don't know if I've seen her okay. latest. This, I've seen... Her, this was her latest work. Rick Glassman, her, her, her grandson, who's been on this show mm -hmm. many times promoting many of his works, the comedian, uh, takes a lot of videos of her and posts them. And this was Grandma Glassman's latest work when Steph Curry was winning and putting the Cavs in a 3-1 hole. He's a <laughs> Can't stand him. Are you kidding me? I only hope he swallows it. I'm sorry, Robert. I don't think. with the mouth guard. Oh, damn. That Shh. mouth guard that hangs out of his mouth, I'm going to take him and push it right up his tuchus. I mean, I can't stand it. He can go. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care what he wins. Player of the year or whatever he was, bull. <laughs> 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 this is great. Oh, the poet laureate of Cleveland. <laughs> That's awesome. Grandma Gloria Glassman, is she on the phone line right now, she Crystal? Is. Yep. Hi, Grandma. Congratulations. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. You you brought it to me. See, you got you brought me luck. I did. I was part of the whole superstition. I snuck my <laughs> way in there at the, when you were down uh, in the three one in the series, and look at uh, us yes, now. Yes, you did, and you brought me back, and I am I'm numb. I don't even know what hit me today. I'm I'm like in another world. It was the most satisfying, the most wonderful, wonderful victory I have ever in my life seen. I mean, it was just marvelous. But you were you 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 remember 1964 though, right? I was yeah, but my father, my father and my uh, husband were at the game, and my one son. But I wasn't. I didn't go to the game then. Well, there were, Shark Tank wasn't on then, though. What were you doing that day? <laughs> oh, we celebrated last night. My grandson flew in from L.A. to be uh, with us to celebrate, and he went out and bought a bottle of Dom Perignon, and we just and we celebrated very well. We were on really wonderful. We celebrated. It was wonderful. It was my family, my children, everything, Rich. But didn't you, did, didn't you kick them all out of the house to watch it by no, yourself? Well, I ate dinner at their house, and I went home to watch the game. By yourself. And then I came back to celebrate. OK. So how many Manhattans did you have last night, Grandma? Only two. <laughs> wow. You would think that would be more than a two Manhattan game. Was it you? one per half, or did you did you sort of? Well, I had one before and one during. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then what, what show did you have on in the other room? 
You Grandma. know what? I don't even remember. Some, some home and garden thing. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> By the way, you did pretty well with the Manhattans. I stress ate an entire bag of chips in the fourth quarter. I mean, a big bag from top, open it, eat it all the way down, like, just stress eating. I don't even know what I was eating. I was so stressed out. Oh, God. Wasn't it wonderful, though, to see all the fans and how wonderful they were? And today, you should see what's going on. They arrived at the airport, and there's thousands and thousands of fans there. Were you nervous, though, Grandma? Uh, you know what? I had, I felt good about them, and boy, did Kyrie show Stephen Curry up! Oh my God, it was it was so phenomenal. I loved him. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> anyway, he was amazing. He took the shot. He was not afraid. No one wanted to win. He was I, not afraid to win, Kyrie. I know, but they 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 just were wonderful. I I've never felt this good. I was proud of them, and LeBron James. What can I say? Oh my God. So now, what about the Browns, Grandma? Well. <laughs> First of all, I will say this much. They did send a tweet out. I'm surprised at Haslam because usually he doesn't do anything that's right. But he sent out a tweet. Congratulations, the Cavaliers. I don't know. This coach seems to be, like they say, good. As far as Robert Griffin III, I don't know. Do you think he's going to be good? I don't. I don't, don't have anybody to, to protect him. But we'll see. Right now we got our Indians there in first place. Come on. That's right. You got to it's a great time. It's a great time to be from Cleveland, Grandma. Well, you know what? It's great to be here because we're a wonderful city. People don't realize how wonderful we are. We got You should have heard Michael Simon was on today, and he was bragging. He was so excited about being a Clevelander and doing everything for Cleveland. Grandma, I, you've been on the show three days in a row. Fans, I love it. The fans of this show love hearing from you, and the fact that you're now in the city of champions in the yes, NBA. I am. You are that. You're yes, that. I appreciate everything you've done for me, Rich. It's oh, been wonderful. What really, about, you're a pleasure. What about, and I hope to be on many more times, bringing more Super Bowls, bringing everything to Cleveland. Well, that's well, right. That's well, right. Grandma, we'll have you back on when Josh McCown starts week three, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, you're being funny. You're being very funny. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do that occasionally, or, Grandma. Or is, it, or is that Cody Kessler? Will he start week three? Yeah, week three? Uh, you never know. He might be very good. Who knows? He could Anything be, can happen in Cleveland now. He could be your Tom Brady, right? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 I don't know if he could ever be a Tom Brady. That, I don't know. There's not too many people that can be Tom Brady. Or John Hamm, right? That's your oh, other one. I haven't seen him lately. I don't know what he, where he disappeared. We'll send him to your house. <laughs> Please do. I'll wrap him up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the city of champions, Grandma. Thanks again. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I love you, Rich. You've been wonderful. Same and man. hope to talk to you again very soon. Likewise. That's Grandma Gloria Bye, Grandma. Glassman. Amazing. Amazing. I'll wrap him up. Isn't that great, though, where Send it's just on. like, so how about the Browns? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's like you've got this family, and you're very proud of some of the kids, but the other one you know is going to military <laughs> academy. Like, he's, how's that? Well, he's still eating the rocks. He puts... Anything, paint chips or rocks in his mouth, that's just what he does. But, you know, one day, one day. But now, the, what, the celebration that we're going to see yes. is 52 years in waiting, right, yes. in general. The Browns, though, the Browns win. Will that, is it fair to even just Where's say it? how it will pale in comparison to the celebration that your area deserves to just have on its own right now? Although the one just thing is, LeBron James made us relevant twice. He was homegrown. Yes. And he was amazing, and, and we somehow, he was on, he was from Akron, and now he's playing for Cleveland, and that's just incredible. Then he left and everything, and then he came back and made us relevant again. Mm -hmm. And he did what he said he was going to do in two years. It's just, uh, I mean, he's right, if, if Haslam could just bottle any of that. Um, oh, my gosh. He would sell it to his customers for, <laughs> <laughs> for a profit, but not having as much bottled in as he said it would, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one right there. Do you have an update from yeah. what's going on in Cleveland right now? We saw, you know, they landed in Cleveland. We saw J.R. Smith get off the plane shirtless, as Brockman alluded to. Fantastic. No shirt. LeBron James walking through the street, where, holding the Larry O'Brien trophy, wearing an Ultimate Warrior T-shirt. Oh, wow. That's throwing some heat. That's <laughs> some shade and heat all at one. Oh, wow. But look at that, man. What radio audience were showing him parading around the airport with the fans just jamming their hands up against the chain link fence between he and the rest of the security area, walking around with the Larry O'Brien trophy. That's a trophy, a championship it's trophy amazing. in Cleveland. It's amazing. I'm literally, I'm, I, I'm having this, it. this welling. It's amazing. It's to see an actual uh, a manifestation of winning yes. in our city is amazing. Like, uh, this amazing. happened. This it's happened. It's amazing to me 
to see a man whose entire stellar comedy career has been based off of what? No hugging and no, no hugging? crying. What, what, no it? hugging, no learning, and usually no winning. <laughs> so one of the no colors, I got Kurt a leg never... knocked out from under me. Now we'll see how I can do with two. <laughs> and you're all for clumped right now. Like you yeah, literally, you're getting misty it's, right it's, now. It's an, it's an incredible thing. It's just something you never, never thought you'd see. More Never on the, more on the wardrobe front, uh, pictures are emerging from Vegas of Timofey Mozgov still in his game jersey that he did not play in last night. At Vegas, wore his Cavs jersey, wanted everyone to know he was on the team. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Now, how many people thought it was just some big dude <laughs> some big <laughs> who just dude. showed up? <laughs> who didn't break a sweat? <laughs> DMP, <laughs> coach's decision, but he was definitely playing. He was a player He's last yeah. night. MVP, MVP of the post game. Moscow. Yeah. So I the same way that Rex Ryan won, won the preseason. Yeah, won the preseason. No, he won the offseason. He won the offseason and the, the I guess, there was, the, there was not an event for this until now, but the, the brother tandem bicycle race. <laughs> what was that? Re yeah. Rex and Rob, like they're Butch Cassidy and Sundance. Yeah, just driving ri around. Riding off into poor offensive land. You have something, Brock, when we were chiming Oh, I was going to say, I hope someone <laughs> bought uh, Moscow a burrito. In, in Las Walking Vegas. around in a burrito on the court. Can I buy you a burrito? Night. No, thanks. I am good. <laughs> no, no. I have. I, have I brought my own. Timofey's burrito or Moscow's burrito. <laughs> great, burrito. Great fantasy team. All right. When we come back, when we come back, and folks, if you're on hold, stay on hold. We're going to take all your phone calls here. Um, I want to know about Curb. Yeah. Just before we go to break, you and Larry sitting down right now? We are sitting down right now. In okay. fact, I'm going to leave here and go back to actually writing. We're not just talking about it. We're, actu we're not just talking about talking about it. We're actually. Talking the about we it. being you and Larry Day. Yeah, yeah, we are sitting. We are sitting there, actually writing. Season nine. Yeah. And is part of your writing something that we have posited here? It's why we came back. <laughs> it's why we came back. <laughs> yes, we are a factor here on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> An update on season nine of Curb, straight from the man who is sitting with Larry David writing it. That's next here on the Rich Eisen Show. Jeff Schaefer the, is, uh, is here on the Rich Eisen Show. One more segment, The League, the Final Fantasy Season 7 is available on DVD or various digital ways. Digital to things, turn. Netflix things, things that, that humans use now. As opposed to buying a piece of right. pressed plastic and placing it into a machine and hitting play. Right, that's sort of an early uh, coaster. Right. That's so in terms of comebacks that we've had, we've seen Cleveland come back, Dustin Johnson came back, okay? We are wondering how things happen in threes. People are wondering, well, what's the next thing to come back? Excuse me, no, no. The other two completed the three because Curb Your Enthusiasm is back for season number nine. I have been, I've been after you for years, right? When was the last time? It was 09, was it the last yeah, time? Yeah, it's been, it will have been, it'll be about four or five years when My we come back in the air. Good and Lord. you've been persistent. Very. You've been patient. That light's been on. Yeah, you've been, you've asked. Um, mm -hmm. And I always, it was always going to come back and somehow, it was always going to come back. It just, it was hard to say when. And Larry was busy doing a lot of other things. He has a lot of, a lot of opportunities and things. And, yes. But, He's always been walking around with that notebook. He's got his notebook. The mm -hmm. notebook is, gets filled up, and those ideas have to go somewhere. And, and we, were talking, we were talking about it. We were talking about talking about it. And finally, we realized it would be super fun to get the band back together and do it again. Let's do it. Let's do it. OK, and is everybody back in? Uh, I, assume, I think everyone will be, everyone will be, everyone's excited to come back. We'd love to have everybody back. So any, anybody who's been in it before is, uh, yeah. is, is yeah. going to they're Funkhauser. Richard Funk Lewis, yep. All, yep, the whole JB gang. JB Smooth. Yep, the whole gang. So We all know Garland. He's been, he was on last week. He's, exactly. He says he's back. He's going yeah. back, too. It's fantastic. So, and, you know, the reason why you not only wanted us back, you yes. wanted us to be back. You asked patiently, and you, and you waited, and you, and you prodded. Yes. But you gave ideas. I you did. did more. You did more than complain about it. You did more than whine about it. Yeah. You did more than ask about well, it. That's me. That's you me actually, in a nutshell right there. You did. You actually did something about it. You so, had an idea. Now, the question is, this idea that we've, what we've posited, that we've forwarded. Larry walks into men's room. Mm -hmm. His shoes are recognizable I'm by the you. man who's pooping in the stall. Right. Behind the stall door. Said pooper sneezes. Larry refuses to break that wall. Does not give him. It does not give him the courtesy that normally we give to other human beings. When bless somebody you. sneezes, I, bless you. I say yes. It's instinctive. Exactly. You sneeze, I say bless you. Is this a possible... Are we going to get this in season nine of Curb? So, have you have you discussed this? We have discussed this idea. No, you have not. We, I would, literally, <laughs> I, 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 yes. Larry and I have talked about this idea, and Larry actually had a great argument for for himself in this, which is saying to that man, if you burp, 
Do you say excuse me? Mm -hmm. And you're in the stall. If you burp, do you say excuse me? No, because you want to pretend like you're not there. You want to just be able to do your business in that little, in that little cone of, of just silence and non-existence. Yes. And it's another parallel universe. So it's, it's actually is a valid argument. It's about, you present a valid argument. I think Larry has a valid argument. Mm -hmm. And when, it's, when you can do both sides, yes. there's something there. There's something there. So, so this is... This is, it's something, look, right now we're in the, we're laying all, it's like a big full buffet. We're yeah, like, tell me, what, the, what does this look like right we're, now? He's looking through his notebook, we're talking about ideas, and it's, it's one of the ones we've definitely talked about. Um, we've put a little thought into it, see where it could go. Yeah. So, I'm not sure, it's, it's not in a show yet, but we're just starting to, like, lay out the season and, and the series arcs, and, and we haven't really, oh, we're not, gosh. we're in this, we're starting to write shows, we've written the starts of two of them, but, like, but it's definitely an idea that we've talked about. So, so this little this little incubator, this little writer's room. How great here, is this? How great is this? Well, yeah. I think this uh, means that we deserve a cameo during season. Yeah, eight. I knew it. I knew, <laughs> by the way, you guys, I gotta say, you gotta say, I thought the cameo conversation was coming way earlier, <laughs> way earlier. Well, I wanted to save it. I said, <laughs> you, you wanted to make I sure was it was the last it. thing that's, we talked that's about. That's a rookie mistake right there. You, yeah. It's like Fight Club. You can't talk about it. Saving the cameo for the later? No, just at all. It's, it's, yeah, but the Jeff, man is not even two episodes in. You gotta wait. Yeah, hey, but Jeff knew it was wait. coming. Right. Well, I knew this. I knew it was coming. I just thought it would come more elegantly. <laughs> no, 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 no. This guy. No, no, no. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. You know what? I think here's what I know is gonna happen. Yes. We'll probably we're gonna start shooting. We're writing now. We'll start shooting sometime late fall, winter in mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. um, football season will be upon us by yes, then. Yes. I am sure. Mm. I am sure there is something, something that we can. Wager on. Yes. Wager on where the prize. Okay. The prize is a cameo. Look how Fantastic. great look how great you feel Fantastic. right now that you you're in the city of champions. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this your, is I'm playing with house money. I'm literally playing with house money right now. <laughs> Jeff, thank you for coming on, awesome. sir. Awesome, awesome. So Lovely to see you. Much fun. Congrats yeah. to you and all your Clevelanders. It's it's an amazing day to be from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And you never get to say that. <laughs> and uh, and then there's tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.